Hello, man of God. Today we are at the Texas Cobra Meet in San Marcos, Texas. And what is a Cobra Meet? Well, this is a Cobra. This is my buddy Kevin O'Grady's Cobra. It's pretty, uh, pretty nasty. And we're gonna race it today at the San Marcos Raceway. This is Kevin. He's got Howdy. his Texas Cobra Club shirt on and his badge as well. So. Uh, Tell us a little bit about this event, Kevin. Uh, it's been going on, I think, for almost 20 years. We've raised a lot of money for cystic fibrosis and also for Wish For Our Heroes military group. So I've been doing this for the past 12 years myself. Good event, usually about 160 cars show up and 300 plus people. I think it's the second largest event in the United States for Cobras. Uh, this year, because of COVID, they have 100 cars registered, which is still pretty good. So over 200 participants, even with the uh, what's going on in the world today. So we're about to go over to the track event, which is the track event, which I've been handling, I guess, the past 12 years as well, where we'll get some Cobras out there to run around the track until they all break and blow up. So it should be lots of fun. Looking forward to a good day. Thomas and I will be making some hot dogs and raising some money for the Wish For Our Heroes group. And also, uh, Harrisville Racetrack raises money and they donate some of the funds to Wish For Our Heroes group as well. So it's a good event, good fundraiser, good time, and uh, hopefully we'll make it through without any major problems today. All right, well, thank you, Kevin. Well, let's go look at some cars, shall we? All right, look at this cover here. We actually got a Carol Shelby autograph on the dash. It's pretty awesome. Many different models here. So many different paint schemes. It's got a Cobra on it. It's pretty nice. Ooh, soft top on it when you want to drive closed. That'll help you out in the rain. Here we go, we got a veteran license plate, so that's awesome. Mm -hmm. What we got here, Kevin, is that nitrous or is that a uh, actual gas? Uh, is that nitrous or is that? Um... Oh no, that's a fire extinguisher. Oh, fire ex yeah, uh, suppression so system. You you... Oh, okay. Maybe on some tracks they require Gotcha. Lots of different colors here, different setups. Very cool. What's that? Mm -hmm. Checking out some of these carvers are getting ready to take off. Many different paint schemes. I think that's an actually brushed aluminum car. That's a real aluminum body. That might be a purple, which means that's a two hundred thousand dollar car right there. Two hundred thousand. Wow. It's got the original Goodyear bias fly type wheels on it with calibrands. Wow. people come from all over the country to meet here at the uh, Texas Cobra meet and not everyone's here yet but uh, they're all going to meet out at the track drive around and eventually do a parade of cars this is like my third or fourth time coming to this You see all the trailers they have. Could be hiding inside. Yeah, some of those cars got the Texas Club, Club uh, emblems on them. We're here at the MC Suites uh, Hotel parking lot in San Marcos. And uh, still going on with even with COVID. Just do uh, proper social distancing. 
Kevin, I believe you're standing too close, sir. <laughs> All right, we got one fired up over here. We're gonna head out over to the track and uh, we'll see you guys there. We're getting ready to do a parade here of the Cobra car meet here in Texas. And all the Cobra owners are getting in their cars and fixing to take it out onto the track. And there goes the first car. Sound pretty awesome. They come from all over sure that nobody wrecks I hope they're lining up on this beautiful day in Texas here look at all the different colors very amazing very cool they're heading out on the track courtesy right there Kevin's leading this whole shebang so he's like man I don't need to be out there I'm the man he's lining up over there Kevin did anybody come in from another country nice Yeah, well, if they came from Mexico, they should have brought some Corona, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. All right. A couple cars staying back. Let's walk over here, see what we can see. There's the headquarters for the track, Harris Hill Raceway. See, it's AMG, which stands for Almighty God. I want to thank Almighty God for this beautiful day. And our buddy uh, Dave is out there in his Mustang getting up. There's the pace truck right there. It's a really nice track. One of the interesting things that uh, I was told by another race driver is that, uh, and he drives many tracks, he said the thing about this track is he could drive it a thousand times and not get used to it because he's never had a track uh, with differences in elevations like this one. As you can see, the peak is up there on that hill. Uh, there's a hairpin turn where I'm pointing down there. And as you can see, Dave is coming around they say uh, earlier today, guys were hitting speeds of 136 going around into the curves and stuff. And that tractor is bailing some hay, so that's pretty awesome. Or two tractors. There's a. This is not all the Cobras that are here, but um, so these are the ones that came in for the uh, parade. But there's. A bunch of them that went out on a country drive uh, who like to do that. And um, there comes Dave now. Doesn't look like he's got it floored or anything. But that is a mean Mustang. I have no idea how many horsepower that has, but there's another hairpin turn down there that he's got to go through before he comes back up here into the pit area. getting some instructions so you notice Kevin's car is uh, has a flat finish he is uh, in I mean this is literally his first time bringing this out on the track um, Kevin the difference between Kevin's Cobra and the Cobras you see over there is Kevin races this Cobra he, he does the Big Ben race every year and uh, which is a race uh, 
that, that is here in Texas and uh, they, they have a two seater. They usually have a driver and a navigator in this seat right here. So uh, Kevin uh, has been the navigator for a friend of ours, John, for in his uh, Corvette in the Big Ben race for a long time. And um, Kevin has also raced it in his other um, Cobra, but this one he built strictly for racing, not for show. And even the other one they had that looked like those down there on the track, uh, very shiny and pretty and everything, he raced that too. Um, but this one he wanted to make it look mean and he's got some pretty powerful stuff underneath. I don't know if you can see it, but um, maybe we'll talk to Kevin about it. He, he just put it on the track today for the first time and uh, he's not done with it yet. So hopefully he does well in the Big Ben race this year. My car here, it's a Mustang GT350 RC. I let my friend Dave borrow it so he can uh, drive it around the track. And there's Dave right there. But honestly, it's not mine. I'm just kidding. But let's go talk to Dave. Let's see how fast he got it going. How fast you get her today, Dave? And I'm just sitting back there. You weren't checking? I wasn't looking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know I could never get up that hill. My challenge was hit 100 and my 66. Yeah. And I finally did, and then almost went off the other end. Um, I saw you giving that uh, Camaro hell. This, this one will do about. 115 or so up the hill, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's funny. The guy that was here, you remember? Okay. And, um, we were the GT we're comparing, oh, I said, what's a good yeah. time? I don't supposedly know what a good time is because okay. I don't remember anything from bigger last year. Bigger tires. Mm -hmm. And uh, supposedly this way more. Well, well, the Miatas are pulling. They say they're a little different for the way 130. Wow. You know, I've never been able to find out exactly what. And I said, well, that's that's who I'm after. And he goes, we don't have any big cars. Me Thanks for letting me run on your track. Yeah. Because uh, I next year with more notice, I'll bring my boss to go too. It's a handling car. He called that's me yesterday. I'm like, ah, fuck, I gotta and work. And so I said, I, no, I run with Miatas a lot. Yeah, I remember. That's my goal, right? Yeah. And, I did um, give you a flyer. So anyway, I came in from the front yeah, yeah. without that's my my small contribution. I was in traffic and all that shit. He came over and he goes, I could have been a solid 120. Okay. Then I looked at my thing later and I think. I think a 129 flash about my out, dial it in. Very nice. But I, I yeah. think I haven't looked at all the data. But whenever yeah, I was running with that narrow, um, yeah, he was slowing me down. Um, yeah, I seen him uh, let you pass at oh, one yeah. point. He broke my car? Yeah. But it looked like he was getting up on the straightaway too, yeah. but on this. He didn't make he's, one lap and he broke He's more power. What? Broke it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you break? <laughs> I was like saying, I guess suspension? That's know. shocking. Those guys are making we didn't know. more horsepower. He went right. Yeah. So in the, the Camaro? Yeah. Oh, okay. In the straightaways, they were pulling me. Oh, mm -hmm. But no. I'm buddy. blowing through them. I'm driving. Oh, and then they're throwing off brakes. Yeah, that was a and not going off road. Right. Right. Yeah, so you have that I mean suspension in there, right? I'm on pace. Yeah. I'm leaving it in fourth gear. Oh. Wow. I'm not even sure. Quite a bit. Okay. And those guys are using second and third. Downshifting, yeah. but they're slowing down yeah. so much in the corners it makes me have to come out of fourth gear. Oh, so I see. on my good laps, I'm in fourth gear the whole time, just being smooth, going all the way around the track. And uh, and so when I run with them, they're slowing me down in the corners and I shift, and then it starts everything all over again. Well, how do you like it? This, is this the first time you had it out on the track? Or? Uh, well, I took it to Houston for a couple of laps. I let my son have most of the time down there, so it's uh, I never drove it hard. This is the first time I've driven it reasonably hard, mm -hmm. and um. It's stupid. Is it, it does everything that you'd mm -hmm. ever expect the car to do with no craziness. Does it reinforce your faith in Ford or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Okay, so uh, how did you do on the track today? I had a good time. This is my first time out with this car. It's uh, a bone stock, uh, 17 EcoBoost. Nice. Uh, no modifications other than a Ford Tune. It's Really impressed with the brakes. Nice. What do you uh, what do you think your your 
your your fast time was today. Oh, no, I got a lap timer in the car, and I did uh, a couple of 137s. Ooh, nice. First time out of this track. Uh, I was out here seven years ago on a motorcycle. I haven't been back. Wow, wow. What do you prefer, the motorcycle or the car? Or? Motorcycle's pretty ex exciting, but I haven't done a track day in a long time. I really enjoyed driving this thing, so that was. Nice. I'll, I'll bring it back. I'll. Uh, work on the tire pressures and do those kinds of things see if we can get into the low 130s so this is bone stock huh bone stock other than a ford tune and it, you said it's four cylinder turbocharged turbocharged four cylinder ecoboost with the performance pack option that's just crazy mustang uh mustang man they, ford makes some good cars i'm a ford guy as well so yeah so these are basically it's a mustang gt suspension and brakes and wheels and tires for the most part and shocks mm -hmm. with the the turbocharged four-cylinder motor right. and a different rear end gear for the performance pack. So uh, why don't you tell the, the YouTubers what your name is? And oh, My name's Dan. I live uh, close to the track here in New Braunfels. And I got a bunch of Fords, got a bunch of Mustangs, got a Boss 302 race car, Woo! Uh, a Boss 51 I'm restoring, and a, a Q code car I'm restoring. So. Well, there you go. If you need any uh, pointers on Mustangs, you can give there them a call. <laughs> And he's the one that flew over the track today. Um, he didn't break any FAA rules. Nope, nope. Just I did a normal pattern on my day job, uh, flying the airplane around. We had, had a student pilot, and so we uh, just did a normal pattern. Just happened to be right on top of the, the track. I know yeah. from being at the track, uh, it's you planes can fly over. So right. That's what we did. Yeah, and like I was saying earlier, he, he 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 broke the rules. He was buzzing the tower. They told him not to fly. By. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, as you can see, I'm gonna back up here a little bit. There's the tower right there for the airport. It's really close. So that's awesome. I saw you fly over today. That was pretty wicked. I was making hot dogs. I'm like, oh, that's a... <laughs> yeah, I, mean, no kidding. I didn't do anything. I, we did a touch and go to Zay Tower. I wanted to do a crosswind landing on the other runway, and they said approved. And I just did a normal pattern. Very that's nice. That's where it puts you. Just, they're not, you're not getting much air traffic today because the wind is favoring the other runway. Oh, okay. So okay. I wanted to do a crosswind landing for training. Very and good. So the, the runway that takes you right over this track would be set up for a crosswind today. So many talented people out here driving cars. You got pilots, you got race car drivers, you got enthusiasts, and you have the novices. I myself don't have a race car or a Cobra like these guys or a Mustang. But I just enjoy coming out here with my buddy Kevin O'Grady, and we uh, we, we uh, do a little fundraiser to um, help the veterans out. Uh, wish for our veterans. So, but we appreciate you supporting that too. He did come by and support that, so thank you very much. Full hot dog. There we go. Thank you, sir.